Hey guys, I'm back. I haven't recorded in a little while, but I decided I want to start making Sunday night videos. Because I said I was going to start recording a little bit more often. So, today I'm doing a QA. and a I think I'm going to start doing these more weekly to answer just some questions about my life that are fun. So, I have my phone that uh, gets questions, and I'm going to be getting texts throughout this video, and I'm just going to Google some questions too. So, let's see what I have so far. Because friends have been texting me a lot lately. Okay. Right. So, the first question I got today was, are you looking forward to theater next year? I am definitely looking forward to theater. I'm going to be uh, head of props next year. So, I'm definitely looking forward to the new adventure. It's going to hold the new school we're going to have next year. We're getting a new school. So, it's going to be interesting to see what the building's like, what the new environment's like, just how the school is, how the productions work, if we're going to have two, three shows, how it's just going to work and fall into place. So, I'm very, very excited just to see how that's going to fall into place and work out. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Um, my one friend sent me two questions. So, the first question is, what is your favorite ice cream? I have three different favorite ice cream flavors. First one's cotton candy, but I can very rarely find that. And then Blue Moon, I really like, as well as Superman. And then mint chocolate chip. I feel like Superman and Blue Moon are, like, kind of the same thing. So, that's why I put them into a category of one. Um, I also love sorbets. So, that's, like, yeah. I just love those kind of, like, five ice cream flavors there. And then she said, what would be your dream honeymoon? And I believe an Alaskan cruise would probably be my dream honeymoon. I've always wanted to go to Alaska. And I've always wanted to go, like, on a cruise to Alaska. So, yeah. That's probably my dream honeymoon right there. Okay. Um, a friend asked, how has May been? May has been <laughs> a little bit rocky. It's been very rocky. May has definitely been a rockier month. I didn't think it was going to be so rocky, but it definitely has been rocky. But it also has had some really good high peaks. So I'm very, very happy that it's May. And my birthday's coming up soon. So, you know, it, it's May. It, it's been a good month so far. Just a few rocky patches. All right, next question. My friend just said, why? Well, why? <laughs> why what? <laughs> why? <laughs> why what? Just why not? That's actually a funny story of why my friend probably texted me this. My dad told me a story of a college professor who put the question why as a test. And you know the answer to that question? Why not? Somebody asks you why you're doing something, look them straight in the face, answer them with, why not? Not why what, not why don't, just why not? Why not? Okay, uh, okay. and then my other question is, who do you trust, who do you trust, who do you trust most in the world? Oh, oh, that's like a huge question because like, that's hard to answer because there's so many people that I trust. But, okay, to be blatant and to be honest, there's one person that I trust more than most people in the world. Just because they've been there, like, through the ups and the downs and the ups and the downs and the ups and the downs. And that would probably be my best friend. I, I mean, I trust her more than most people in the world. And that's because... She doesn't lie. She doesn't fake it. She doesn't act like, oh my god, you're so pretty or you're so ugly. She says it's straight face to you. And that's probably because she's always been there. Her name's Sid. She's always there. Yeah. So I'd probably trust her most out of all of my friends because she's blatant. She's there for you and she's blatant. And she's one of my best friends. Not my, like, ultimate best friend, but one of my best friends in my best friend group. Um, so, yeah, I'd probably say her. Okay. So, at this current moment, I believe those are all the questions I've gotten from friends. So, I'm going to Google some questions online to answer because otherwise it's going to be, like, a three-minute video. And I want to make it more like a six-minute video. So let me look up some Q&A questions. And I'm going to do a longer Q&A next weekend again. But let's do this. Okay. <laughs> 
My nose is bugging me like crazy today. Right. What sport do you play? Oh, that's actually a great question, and I'm going to go in depth on it. So I do winter guard and I do color guard. But people don't consider flag twirling and spinning rifles and sabers a sport, but I'd like to see you, you know, toss a knife in the air and catch it and not be terrified. I'd like to see you do that. And then you can tell me it's not a sport. Okay? Cool. So those are the sports I do. Okay. Um, then the next question is, what's your dream vacation? My dream vacation is to go to Japan. I have always, and I don't know what it is, just the lights, the city, I've always wanted to go to Japan. Not Chicago, not New York. I've been both there. They're amazing, but to go to Japan. Just, I've always wanted to go to Tokyo. It's like a dream. Not Paris, not like, you know... Kauai or some big city place like that no I want to go to Japan like I want to go to Japan I want to go to Tokyo I don't know why it's just always been a dream so I want to go to Tokyo someday okay um and then do I like coffee I could not live without coffee I love black iced coffee it's just my favorite thing all right let's get some more questions up in here okay Okay, so what is your favorite subject? I take American Sign Language. I'm actually wearing my baseball shirt right now for the Tigers game that we're signing the National Anthem at this Tuesday. So, yeah, I love ASL. That's probably my favorite subject. Okay, next question. I'm going to do three more questions and then end the video. All right, um, how is your best friend? My best friend is doing terrific. She has a dance recital coming up. Her name is M. She is amazing and a fabulous person. I love her. As I said, I have a couple best friends in my best friend group, but she's like, she's top dog aside from Sydney. Sydney just, I trust her because she's blunt, like blunt. She's blatant. She's amazing. Okay, they're both amazing, but they're both doing terrific up in the clouds, guys. Okay, um... Okay, what's the name of your pet? So I have one one pet that is fur. His name is Milo. He's a guinea pig. And then I have one, um, I don't know if you would know the name of the type of fish he is. He's a, like, a suck, he, like, sucks on the glass. Um, I can't even remember the name of it right now. But his name's Rocky. He's actually, he's Rocky Three. We had two other Rockies. I hate to admit that, but they they do live quite a long life. The first one lived about three, four years. The second one only lived about a year and a half. And this one I've had for two years. So, yeah. Rocky three, and then I have Milo. And Milo I've had almost a whole year. He's two years old. I adopted him when he was one. He'll be two, fourth of July. And I'm very excited about that. All right. My last question is going to be... <sighs> Uh, let me find a good one. Oh, when do you last go on vacation is actually a really good question. All right, so the last vacation I went on was to New York City. And I absolutely loved it. I got to go on a four-day trip to New York City with my band. Um, and it was, it was just a dream come true. We got to be on the Empire State. Um, building. We got to go to NBC Studios. <laughs> we got to go to Chinatown. You know, we got to see the 9-11 memorial. And we got to be outside a lot. We got a tour of the cities. It was beautiful and incredible. And I absolutely loved it. So that was my last vacation that I went on. And that was just a few weeks ago, actually. It was really, really fun. And that was amazing. And to end this video, I will be doing more Q&As. And so if you guys have any questions that you want me to answer, put them in the comments below. Because I would love to hear your questions. And I can pull them up on this phone. Because I have this phone for questions for my Q&A videos. Um, so let me know in the comments below. And I will pull them up on here and do another Q&A next weekend. Bye guys. Have a good Sunday night.